Ed Monkey! Ed Monkey! Ed Monkey! Hello YouTube! This is Ed Monkey and welcome. Welcome to one of my emblems. Today we are going to be making an Ed Monkey emblem. Basically, Ed Monkey and I'm Ed Monkey, so this is me and there we go. So, on this you also can customise it by putting your own little name on it. I've put Ed Monkey, which is uses 8 letters. And you can use uh, another way up to using 14. You might have to lose some of the little uh, shadow and stuff on it if you need 14 letters. But I shall show you how to do that anyway. Let's get started. We first use a full circle. And we're going to do that in monkey brown for the hair. And then we get another circle. We use like a skin colour for the inside of it. And we're going to squish that down. And then we get a heart. Stick the heart onto his face like that for his eyebrows. Next thing, we get a full circle, make a copy of that, one either side, and we're using those skin colour for his ears. Then you get another full circle, make it black, and you put one either side for his eyes. We get a shuriken shape, and we're going to make a copy of that, and we stick one of those in either eye to put the eye shimmer in, like so. Then we have a pillow for his nose in the middle, like so. I think this shape is good for a nose. It always looks like a nose, quite easy to use. And then you ain't got to faff around using other shapes. Next up, he uses a full circle for his mouth. You can use a smile outline if you want to give him a little smile or something, or whatever you fancy. Or stretch out the circle and make him look, uh, give him a little like, different expression. But I like the ooh expression, because that's what he's doing. Like, he's a monkey, he goes ooh, ooh, ooh. Anyway, next thing I use is half a short hair. And I stick that on top of his head, because I like putting a little tuck on top of his head. I just like the little tuck, okay? Uh, then I use half a circle, and we're going to use this one darker colour than the skin colour. And we're going to stick that behind his head, and uh, it's for the dark inside his ear. Then I start putting on shadow, as you can see, or shadow, or outline, or whatever you want to call it. And here is where you can actually get an extra two shapes if you need it. Whereas I use the two circles for the ears, what you can do is use the half a tube and do the ears the same way as I did the inside of the ear, and, do, and then you're going to get yourself... Another two shapes, if you just need ten letters, and then that's nice and easy. Uh, and after I do the outlines, you'll find out that I have four shapes left. After I mean, after I do the letters, I have four shapes left. So, you could use those four shapes if you want as extra as letter, and don't do the next stage. So, this would be your end monkey picture. But as you can see, I just do my letters here, and I only need eight. And I use the grid just to do the shaping, because uh, I need eight letters. So, obviously, four on the other side, and I just use the middle line. Like so, and get it nice and even. So there you go, you've got four shapes left, and you could make, get the extra two, which will give you the 14 for the name. And that would be your monkey done then. But I want to do a bit of background colour, so I use the rounded square, which is that shape there, and you put whatever colour you fancy. And then I have a flag with no wind, and I stick that on his nose to give it a bit of shimmer. Get another flag with no wind, we stick that on half the picture like so, and we're going to put it at 50% opacity and make it black. It just gives it a bit of shadow. And then we have a smile outline, which I'm going to stick in now and put it onto the right of his face, just to give it a bit of shimmer. And that is my Ed Monkey, Ed Monkey picture with Ed Monkey name. So I hope you enjoyed it with a lot of Ed Monkeys. Ed Monkey out. Ed Monkey! Ed Monkey! Ed Monkey! Ed Monkey! Hey!